KD gang, 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 gang. We back at it again for another Money Monday, motivational Monday. You know who it is? It's Doshi on the beat, and I'm here to give you that positivity, that inspiration, and motivation for another week, another day, another month, another chance to go and get that money, get that bag, and secure your dreams. Who the fuck you think you messing with? I'm a fucking god. Yeah, I made it off the block, bitch. I'm fucking bow. So the message for today is know your worth you gotta know your worth you gotta know like what your value is not just to other people but you gotta know your value to yourself what it is that you bring to the marketplace what it is that you bring to the game what it is that you have that it's unique to you that's what we can talk about so how do you find out what is your worth how do you know what is your worth right so the first way to find out what you're worth is you gotta evaluate yourself. You gotta be able to know like what is your boundaries, what are your limitations, what you can do, what you can't do. That's the precipice to knowing what you're worth. Because once you know those things, which is like knowing yourself, you then have an idea and know your worth. So when somebody comes to you and they're not giving you what you know that you should be getting or what you know that you're 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 at. Most people don't know their worth. Most people don't know their value because they base their opinions of themselves from the opinions of other people. So you will never have a true, real sense of what your worth, what your value is, what you could do, what you can't do because you're already being dictated and influenced by other people. And that's not that's not the bet. You understand? So what I could say to help us get along better and move along with the trap. If you're in your 20s and your 30s, you need to hang around certain people. And these certain people need to be doing certain things. Right? Let me just give an example of a few things these people should be doing or discussing and what you should be involving yourself in so we can start to build that world. So if you're in your 20s, your 30s, you know, your circle of influence, your circle of friends, just your circle in general, they should be discussing or looking to be on the mindset for these kind of things. And the first should be like opening a business. Like what business can you start, we start together, other people start on behalf of us, like discuss business. Business is important. The business teaches you a lot of things, especially when it comes to life and yourself. So they should be discussing business. Next, you should be talking about investing. Okay, you need to learn how to invest. Investment in a portfolio, investment in yourself, you need to learn how to invest. So if you're not around people that are talking about investing or how to invest or what could be invested in, you're in the right circle. Next, they should be discussing how to escape the 95. Don't get twisted, the 95 is very valuable in regards to like building up an initial capital base, especially if you don't got like any other kind of financial supports here from a sponsor or a deal or something you you know you got a job that this is money that guaranteed to come in that you can start to budget it out sequence it out invest it out to build up you understand because we be discussing it so once we discuss it we'll get to that point next this should be discussing fitness how to keep our body healthy how to keep our mind healthy how to keep you know how to keep active Fitness should be another part of a conversation in your circle. How much push-ups you did today? How much squats did you do today? Did you do any jumping jacks? Any star jumps? Anything? That's fitness. You need to find people that's talking about fitness. I can build you up again. The last thing that your circle should be discussing if you're in your 20s and your 30s 
self-development. I always talk about self-development. I always say that the first book, if you're trying to pick up a book to read, is a self-development book. Because you're developing self. You're making yourself better. You're increasing your value. You're increasing your worth. You understand which is the same thing I'm talking about. You're going to know your worth. If you don't know your worth, then you you could be taken advantage of for anything. On anything. With anything. You understand? Any situation could go however because you don't have any boundaries. You don't have any any like rules. Like this can't happen or this should not happen. Or, this is I won't allow this to happen. I won't allow myself to be in that position. You understand? But as all come down to influence. And once again, if your circle is aren't discussing those five things, then you need to reanalyze and change your circle, change your speech. Top people associate with other top people. What you've heard about the law of attraction. And the law of attraction says that if you change the way you think, you start to attract new people into your life. If you become aggressive about personal development and personal growth, you start to meet other people who think the same way. So people say, well, where do I find positive people who are thinking about success all the time? Mm. First you become one, and then you will naturally attract them. Because it can start with you and it can branch off. You understand? It can start with you. It all starts with you. Me, you, you understand? It starts with you. So you got to be able to know for yourself, like, who am I around? What are we talking about every day? What are we saying? What are you saying? And if you don't analyze that, you're going to be stuck in that same pattern. So just study if they're doing, if they're talking about any of these five things. It don't have to be all, just any of them. Opening a business, investing, how to get out the nine to five, how to escape the nine to five matrix, fitness, what are we doing with our health? And then self-development, what are you reading, what are you learning, what are you intaking for real to be better. So if they're not discussing that, then you need to find yourself a new circle. Remember, your network is your net worth. And what are we trying to know? Our worth. To know our worth, start the business, start small, start with you. Talk to yourself about those things, research those things um, for yourself. And then once you do that, like I said, it will branch off and you will start to find other like-minded individuals just like you that will come in. And then that's how your circle will develop and, you know, that's how you get up. So I hope that that was enough for you to know how to increase your worth, increase your value in this life, in this game. Because after that, I hope that was motivation enough for you getting the money. It's getting the money. I ain't never did a deal. I ain't never did no deals. I ain't never even put a, I ain't never even signed a lease paper at the end of my name before. Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? Just like, yeah. you know that, you know you feel me. Like, I ain't never did no deal with nobody before. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I can do all this shit on my own, you know what I mean? I can figure all this shit out and I can spend my paper and don't give a damn about spending my paper because I'm confident in it and I know I'm going to work hard and put in the work what it takes to behind spending the money. You got people to come in this game with money, but that shit don't mean nothing. You got people to come in this game with talent, but that shit don't mean nothing. But oh, the game that ran to the wrong nigga. You got talent, you got a nigga that's smart, and you got us a young nigga, and you got the young nigga with a team. So the game got trouble, the game got hell. You This life, it could be here before. Double the cup and the pour before. Came from the gutter, I'm up off the flow. Do what I want, I might do it some more. The harder ice, and I'm dripping in gold. Life in the white, I might get it in rose. Give me the hits, like I'm serving the dope. Give me the game, so I'm showing the souls. Living this life, it could be here before. Double the cup and the pour before. Came from the gutter, I'm up off the flow. Do what I want, I might do it some more. To call the ice.